Well, good Monday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home, the Sticks. I hope everybody's having a showing off good Monday and a good start to a new week. But I'm here to tell you in East Central Mississippi, mm, got me wondering about the weather. Before we get started on this video, I always like to mention that if you're new to the channel, we want to welcome you. If you're returning just to see what old Dan and Scarlett got going on over her, I show sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is, yep, weather is on the menu. Give me a second, we're finna get off in this trailer and we're gonna bump some gums about it. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna talk about the weather and what's currently going on uh, in the Gulf of Mexico or what's fixing to reach the Gulf of Mexico. What we do know is Tropical Storm Marco should make landfall tonight in Louisiana, the Louisiana coastline, as a depression. All that means is a little bit of rain and some, some, some wind, but of course it's still something serious to look at because of the amount of rain that it could possibly dump. What I'm really looking at is Tropical Storm Laura. That one could possibly, once it hits the Gulf of Mexico, and receives or gets some of that warm air and warm water, it could intensify. And there's a possibility that Laura could actually turn into a Category 2 hurricane when it makes landfall. Somewhere, uh, Louisiana, maybe the Texas coastline, possibly. But the thing that really interests me the most is something called the Fujiwara effect. And basically, what that is, is when uh, you have two, uh, and I'm going to say tropical storms, or two storms that are within a thousand miles of each other, the storms, the two storms will actually orbit each other. And the larger storm will actually take over the smaller storm and become one large storm. And that's what would really, really interest me. And it's a possibility that these two storms, meaning uh, Marco and Laura, actually cross paths in the Gulf of Mexico and that's that's kind of scary and I'm going off of I get a lot of information good information uh, weather wise from the National uh, Hurricane Center and the National Weather Center of course y'all know what I do for a living so I keep a close eye on all of this but the interesting thing is these are all tracks uh, we're 60 70 hours out on tra tropical storm Laura and it is tracking uh, to the southwest. That could change. It could actually steer to the east a little bit and it could p potentially affect uh, east central Mississippi and west Alabama. So that is something that we're really, really looking at. And I tell you what, I, I'm, I'm actually worried, really worried about Laura because of course, back in 2005, Louisiana was hit by Hurricane Katrina. I know because I was there and it it was just an awful storm and if laura strengthens up in the gulf of mexico and meets up with marco possibly it could be a really bad storm so uh, as far as all of the questions and emails and text messages i've received about the weather over here i thank everyone for for asking and, and checking up on us just to see what's going on it doesn't seem like East Central Mississippi is going to get uh, any, we may get some residual effect from Marco, meaning the outer weather bands. They're saying that it's supposed to rain a little bit this afternoon, but it's definitely supposed to rain tomorrow morning. Or oh, it should move in, I think they said uh, 1, 2 o'clock or zero two 2 in the morning, but by, by zero six, 6 it should be raining pretty good. But the one that we really, really keep an eye on is Tropical Storm Laura. But another interesting fact, and then we'll end this video, is the last known recording of two storms meeting each other and combining was in, if I'm not mistaken, 1933 and, 50, and 1959. I believe that if these two storms, Laura, Marco and Laura, combined in the Gulf of Mexico, I think it'll be a first. I don't think it's ever happened in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not a meteorologist or anything like that. I just, I dig the weather. I like looking at the weather and just seeing what things do. So y'all, we're gonna end this video. And I always like to say, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Monday. And I hope everybody's being safe amid this crisis. 
that we still have going on. If you uh, like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here, give old dad and Sky a little look, because we always doing stuff, like watching the weather. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan Referee showing off, always going to say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. Mm-hmm. You go on and get your shine on and be you. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.